Dear friends, this video is Chapter 6 of Basic Skill of Crane. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction industry. We will discuss about A. Best practices for efficiency and productivity of crane. B. Maximizing efficiency and minimizing downtime of crane. C. Planning and organizing work tasks of crane. D. Time management and productivity techniques of crane. We'll start presenting a new topic now. A. Best practices for efficiency and productivity of crane. Efficiency and productivity in crane operations are essential for both safety and cost effectiveness. To achieve these goals, consider the following best practices. 1. Operator training and certification. I'd ensure crane operators are properly trained, certified, and experienced in operating the specific type of crane they are using. B. Regularly update operators on safety protocols and best practices. 2. Pre-shift inspections. A conduct thorough pre-shift inspections to check for any mechanical or structural issues such as loose bolts, damaged wires, or hydraulic leaks. B. Verify that all safety devices, like limit switches and load indicators, are functioning correctly. 3. Load planning. A carefully plan the lift, considering load weight, dimensions, and center of gravity. D. Use appropriate lifting attachments and rigging equipment. C. Or make sure the load is properly secured and balanced. 4. Load charts and capacity. I'd refer to the crane's load chart to ensure you are operating within its rated capacity. Capacity. Be a factor in variables such as boom length, radius, and environmental conditions that may affect capacity. 5. Communication. I'd establish clear and effective communication protocols between the crane operator and signal personnel. B. Use standardized hand signals or two-way radios for long-distance communication. 6. Proper rigging. I'd use the correct slings, hooks, and attachments for the load. D. Inspect rigging equipment for damage or wear before use. 7. Environmental considerations. I. Be aware of wind speed, weather conditions, and other environmental factors that could affect crane stability and load control. B. Adjust operating procedures as necessary based on these conditions. 8. Safe working distance. I. Maintain a safe working distance from power lines, structures, and other potential hazards. B. Use proximity alarms and barriers to prevent accidents. 9. Load control. A lift and lower load smoothly and avoid sudden movements. B. Use slow and controlled movements when positioning the load. 10. Preventive maintenance. A. Implement a regular maintenance schedule to keep the crane in optimal condition. B. Conduct inspections and preventive maintenance tasks as recommended by the manufacturer. 11. Emergency procedures. At develop and communicate emergency procedures for crane malfunctions or accidents. B. Ensure that operators know how to safely shut down the crane in an emergency. 12. Record keeping. I'd maintain comprehensive records of crane inspections, maintenance, and operational data. B. Keep records of incidents or near misses for analysis and improvement. 13. Continuous improvement. I'd encourage feedback from crane operators and other personnel to identify areas for improve improvement. B. Implement improvements in equipment, procedures, and training as needed. 14. Compliance with regulations. I'd stay up to date with local, state, and federal regulations and standards related to crane operations. B. Ensure your crane and operations comply with these regulations. Efficiency and productivity in crane operations depend on a combination of proper training, safe practices, and equipment maintenance. By following these best practices, you can enhance safety and optimize the productivity of your crane operations. B. Maximizing efficiency and minimizing downtime of crane. Maximizing the efficiency and minimizing downtime of a crane operation is crucial for maintaining productivity and reducing costs. Here are some strategies to achieve these goals. 1. Regular maintenance and inspection. I implement a proactive maintenance schedule to address wear and tear issues before they lead to breakdowns. B. Perform routine inspections of the crane, including checking for loose bolts, lubricating moving parts, and verifying electrical systems. 2. Predictive maintenance. I'd utilize predictive maintenance techniques such as vibration analysis and oil analysis to identify potential problems before they become critical. Be a monitor crane performance data and use predictive analytics to schedule maintenance based on actual usage patterns. 3. Spare parts inventory. I'd maintain an inventory of critical spare parts to reduce downtime in case of unexpected breakdowns. B. Keep spare parts organized and readily accessible for quick replacement. 4. Operator training. I'll ensure that crane operators are well-trained and follow best practices to minimize wear and tear on the equipment. B. Promote safe and efficient operating techniques. 5. 5. Load planning and handling. I'll optimize load planning to reduce unnecessary crane movements and minimize wear on the crane components. B. Use proper lifting attachments and rigging equipment to protect both the load and the crane. 6. Data monitoring and analytics. 
Ob implement a crane health monitoring system that tracks various operational parameters and provides real-time data. B use data analytics to identify trends and patterns that may indicate maintenance needs or efficiency improvements. 7. Operator feedback. Ob encourage crane operators to report any issues they encounter promptly. B incorporate operator feedback into maintenance and operational improvement processes. 8. Efficient workflows. Ob plan work schedules and sequences to minimize crane idle time. B optimize crane movements and positioning to reduce unnecessary travel and delays. 9. Environmental considerations. A. Be aware of weather conditions and adjust crane operations accordingly to prevent accidents or damage. B. Ensure that the crane's operating environment is well-maintained and free of obstructions. 10. Emergency response plan. A. Develop and communicate clear emergency response procedures for crane malfunctions or accidents. B. Ensure that operators are trained in emergency shutdown and evacuation procedures. 11. Remote monitoring and control. Consider investing in remote monitoring systems that allow for remote diagnostics and control of the crane, reducing the need for on-site personnel and minimizing downtime. 12. Continuous improvement. A regularly review maintenance and operational processes to identify areas for improvement. B. Implement improvements based on data-driven insights and feedback from operator, operators and maintenance personnel. 13. Compliance with regulations. I stay up-to-date with relevant regulations and standards related to crane operations and safety. B. Ensure that your crane and operations comply with these regulations. Efficiency and uptime optimization require a proactive approach that combines regular maintenance, data-driven decision-making, well-trained operators, and effective planning. By implementing these strategies, you can minimize downtime and maximize the efficiency of your crane operations. C. Planning and organizing work tasks of crane. Effective planning and organizing of work tasks for crane operations are essential to ensure safety, efficiency, and productivity. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you plan and organize crane work tasks. 1. Define the scope of work. Clearly outline the objectives and scope of the crane operation. What needs to be lifted or moved? What are the safety and environmental considerations? 2. Risk assessment and safety planning. I'd conduct a thorough risk assessment to identify potential hazards and risks associated with the task. B. Develop a safety plan that includes mitigation measures such as safety barriers, personal protective equipment, and emergency procedures. 3. Select the right crane. A. Choose the appropriate type and capacity of the crane based on the load's weight, dimensions, and location. B. Consider factors like boom length, radius, and height requirements. 4. Develop a work schedule. A. Create a detailed work schedule that includes start and end times for each task. B. Allocate adequate time for crane setup, load preparation, and post-operation checks. 5. Site preparation. I'd ensure the work area is clear of obstructions, obstructions, debris, and personnel not involved in the operation. B. Verify that the ground or surface can support the crane's weight and load. 6. Load planning and rigging. A. Determine the best rigging methods and lifting attachments for the load. B. Calculate the load's weight and center of gravity to ensure it is balanced and secure. 7. Communication plan. I establish clear communication protocols between the crane operator and signal personnel. B. Use standardized hand signals, two-way radios, or other reliable communication methods. 8. Operator Briefing Conduct a pre-operation meeting to brief the crane operator and crew about the tasks, safety precautions, and the sequence of operations. 9. Crane Setup Ot position the crane on stable ground and ensure it is level. B. Extend the outriggers or stabilizers as necessary. C. Conduct a pre-shift inspection of the crane to verify its condition. 10. Load lifting and movement I'll follow the load plan and lifting procedures meticulously. B. Maintain a safe working radius and avoid sudden or jerky movements. C. A. Communicate clearly and continuously with signal personnel. 11. Record keeping. Maintain detailed records of the crane operation, including load weights, lift heights, and any incidents or deviations from the plan. 12. Post-operation checks. A. After completing the tasks, conduct a post-operation inspection of the crane and rigging equipment. B. Securely store the crane and any attachments. 13. Debriefing and evaluation. I'll hold a post-operation debriefing to review the operation's success and identify any lessons learned. B. Discuss any improvements or adjustments for future tasks. 14. Documentation and reporting. Complete necessary documentation and reporting, reporting, including safety reports, incident reports, and maintenance records. 15. Continuous improvement. Use the insights gained from each operation to continually improve planning and organizing processes for future crane tasks. 16. Compliance with regulations. Ensure that all work tasks adhere to local, state, and federal regulations and safety standards related to crane operations.
Effective planning and organizing of crane work tasks require thorough preparation, communication, and adherence to safety protocols. By following these steps, you can execute crane operations efficiently and safely while achieving your project objectives. D. Time management and productivity techniques of crane. Time management and productivity techniques are essential for optimizing crane operations. Efficiently managing time not only improves productivity but also enhances safety. Here are some techniques and strategies for effective time management and productivity in crane operations. 1. Prioritize tasks. Identify critical tasks and prioritize them based on their importance and urgency. B. Focus on tasks that directly contribute to the project's progress and safety. 2. Create a schedule. A. Develop a detailed schedule that outlines the sequence of tasks and their estimated durations. B. Allocate time for crane setup, load preparation, actual lifting, and post-operation checks. 3. Set realistic goals. I set achievable goals for each work shift or operation, considering the crane's capabilities and environmental conditions. B. Avoid overloading the crane with unrealistic expectations. 4. Plan for contingencies. A. Anticipate potential delays or challenges such as adverse weather conditions or equipment breakdowns. B. Allocate extra time in your schedule to account for these contingencies. 5. Delegate responsibilities. I de delegate tasks to qualified and experienced personnel to ensure efficient execution. B. Clearly define roles and responsibilities for everyone involved in the operation. 6. Efficient communication. I establish clear communication channels between the crane operator, signal personnel, and other team members. B. Ensure that instructions are conveyed accurately and promptly. 7. Utilize technology. I employ technology solutions like crane management software or mobile apps to track work progress, record data, and facilitate communication. B. Consider using GPS or telemetry systems to monitor crane location and performance remotely. 8. Preventive maintenance. A. Regularly maintain the crane to minimize downtime due to unexpected breakdowns. B. A. Conduct routine inspections and preventive maintenance as recommended by the manufacturer. 9. Optimize crane movements. A. Minimize unnecessary crane movements by planning efficient load paths. B. Use the shortest and safest routes for positioning the crane. 10. Load preparation. I preassemble and prepare loads in a location convenient for the crane to minimize handling and setup time. B. Ensure that loads are ready and properly rigged before the crane arrives. 11. Efficient setup and teardown. I train personnel to set up and dismantle the crane quickly and safely. B. Optimize the placement of crane components to minimize setup time. 12. Monitor productivity metrics. I use key performance indicators, KPIs, to track crane productivity and identify areas for improvement. B. Analyze data on lifts per hour, cycle times, and operator performance. 13. Continuous training. I provide ongoing training to crane operators and crew members to improve their skills and efficiency. B. Keep them updated on the latest techniques and technologies. 14. Feedback and improvement. I'd encourage feedback from crane operators and team members to identify bottlenecks and process inefficiencies. B. Implement continuous improvement measures based on their input. 15. Compliance with regulations. Ensure that all operations adhere to safety regulations and standards, as non-compliance can result in delays due to inspections or penalties. 16. Documentation and reporting. I'd maintain accurate records of each crane operation, including start and end times, delays, and productivity metrics. B. Use this data for performance analysis and future planning. Efficient time management and productivity techniques in crane operations require careful planning, effective communication, proper maintenance, and a commitment to continuous improvement. By implementing these strategies, you can maximize productivity and safety while minimizing downtime and delays. Friends, we have explained in brief about best practices for efficiency and productivity of crane, maximizing efficiency and minimizing downtime of crane, planning and organizing work tasks of crane, time management and productivity techniques of crane. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.